Minecraft just added copper to the game and there's over 16 different blocks. So I wondered if I could build a house with only copper blocks. And the thing about copper is to get all the different types, you have to oxidize, which basically means you place it down and wait literal days for it to change into the different state. A few days ago was the first day of the server, so we do have some copper, but we need to do a lot of mining and a diamond pickaxe unenchanted just isn't gonna cut it. So the first thing I did was ask my friends if they had any spare leather. Oh. I was hoping to get like 15 pieces of leather and to barter for it, but I think he gave me a full stack. So shout out to DC, thank you very much, sir. Now we need a whole ton of that stuff. I'm not entirely sure who sugarcane this farm is, but I've been tending to it and it's getting bigger. So I'm just gonna keep using it until I have enough. And we have two diamonds, we have four obsidian. Only thing we need is sugarcane. And this should be a pretty good excuse to get around the server. Oh, I do see sugarcane. Hey, ruined portal. Oh, nobody's been here? Oh, gonna need a lot of that later. One, two, three, four. Hey, you can only get those by spawning naturally. And the third ruined portal. Dude, I hit the jackpot. Okay, low key, I'm pretty sure I have more than enough sugar cane. Cause you only need 45 books and this will make way more than 45 books. <gasps> oh, that's important, that's important. And we're gonna go with Unbreaking 3. Now before anybody in the comments section says, hey, you don't have a level 30 enchant. Well, I, I put this torch here on purpose. Just gonna use the gold that we want on an adventure for. Okay, I think we're good to go mining. I do have no idea where copper spawns though, so I'm gonna need to look that up. More common, 47 and 48. Dude, it's affected by fortune. But I'm pretty sure all of the people have mined around spawn. And I want fresh biomes to explore. I want lots of copper. I want some diamonds. So I'm gonna go a couple hundred blocks this way and then start mining. Ah, now this seems like a good cave to start with. Okay, so my initial strategy is to get some diamonds, to get a diamond pick, to get fortune because I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna go way faster with fortune, but that does mean I need diamonds because I wanna make a diamond pick, and I'm not sure what level I should mine at. I just looked on the wiki and it looks like the deeper you go, the more diamonds you're gonna get, but I'm not sure if they've implemented that into Minecraft or if that's coming in December. I'm guessing though that that ore generation is implemented, so I'm gonna try to go deep. Whoa, hey, a mob spawner. Oh, oh, this, these are quite a few mobs. Oh my gosh. Holy muff, dude. Oh my gosh, there are so many. This is kind of funny because when we started the server, somebody accidentally left mob spawning off. So this is like the first time I've actually fought mobs. Come on, diamonds, where? Oh yeah. I promise I didn't plan that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight diamonds. Let's go. Wait, ready, ready, watch this. No! Okay, I got what I came for, now I just need to head to the surface. Boom! Oh, gosh! Free. Hour one of mining wasn't actually too bad. We got like four stacks of copper, some eight diamonds, and like 20 levels. But we could have done so much better. I mean, with Fortune 3, you can get 12 copper from one ore. So that's what we're gonna do. I heard there is an Enderman farm at the end, but I don't know where the portal is. And I'm hoping I can find the stronghold with just four eyes. I just needed to check, but is there a portal for the end? I mean, that seems promising. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, no, no. Ah, yes, we're looking for stronghold, not fortress. You'd think after playing my Minecraft for 10 years, I'd know what it's called. Oh, dude. Oh, this looks nice. Question is, where is this Enderman? Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so dumb. I forgot the diamond. That's the whole point I'm doing this. I want an enchanted pit. Oh well, we are here. We might as well get the levels. We can go back and enchant. Not sketchy at all. Oh, buddy, it's about to get loud in here. Wait, dude, there's totally an ender chest here. <laughs> and I like that. <laughs> Advice, don't die. By the way, in case you're wondering, this is built by the same guy who gave us all that stuff earlier. DC is a madman. First, I was gonna stop at 30, then I was gonna stop at 33, then 36, and I think I'm just gonna go until my sword breaks. 
Oh, and there it goes. DC, nice work on the farm. I'm pretty sure everybody can use it. I really hope so. <laughs> now, fortune. I really need fortune. Oh, let's go. Dude, and combine it with the Unbreaking 3. Oh, that is perfect. And for only seven levels, I would say that is a steal. Oh, and don't worry. We are now rich enough to afford a new anvil. Apparently not rich enough to afford storage, though, guys. This, this is getting out of hand. I remember seeing somewhere that fortune applies to all ores now, which would be so convenient. I was just planning on doing the copper, but if it works for everything, we're gonna get so much stuff. Once again, the plan is to go to new chunks. That way we're getting all of the fresh ores. I expect this to be a fairly long adventure, so I'm gonna drop off all of this, make sure I have enough torches, and then I think we're good to go. Also, it's been like an entire real day. <laughs> oh, we only have one that's oxidized. Oh, this is probably gonna take a lot longer than I thought. Dude, we just got eight from one block. That's insane. I know it's it's a rule in Minecraft to never drink straight down. But when you're in a cave, you have a much higher probability of running into another cave if you're mining down. And I kind of need a cave. Don't run into lava, please. Dude, this is crazy. Iron is now fortunate. We did run into a cave, but it looks like somebody's already been here. You know, I'm probably gonna need to get my own space because this is, it's really getting cramped. I'd say that's a pretty good haul. Okay, round two. I think we're gonna pull the same tactic. If this doesn't go any deeper, I'm just gonna mine here, hopefully run into another cave. No way. Did we really just, we really just ran into one of these. Oh, that's so epic. I'm gonna take all these crystals. This geode had so many more crystals than the other one. Almost five stacks, are you joking me? Five stacks, exactly. At this point, I almost feel like the Americans killing all of the buffalo and only using their tongues. Cause I feel kind of wasteful. There's iron everywhere and I'm not picking all of it up. <gasps> Wait, no way this is a, <gasps> I found it. This is a good sign. We have to craft a new chest just to fill all of our now stuff. Now that looks impressive. Also, can we acknowledge that I got 45 emeralds from one mining session? How do you feel about the Enderman face? Is it weird? I mean, that looks better, I think. Time to go for round three for mining. So the Minecraft wiki says copper ore is most common at 46 to 47. Not a great place to go mining. Uh, we'll try somewhere else. I wasn't planning to make the starter house big, but I think we might actually be able to make it fairly big. That's a ton of copper. But because I plan on using some oxidized copper, we really just need to make it into blocks and place it ASAP. Because it takes a ridiculous amount of time to turn into the fully oxidized stuff. Just to show you how ridiculously hard it is to get oxidized copper, this has been here for literally two days, IRL, and only one piece has moved up one stage. There's two more to go. And on top of that, we need to get get beeswax to seal the stage into the copper. So for example, if we wanted that piece right there to stay that color forever, we'd have to like right click it with beeswax, which is cool because I really like how they're adding a function to beeswax. But that also means we need a bee farm. Like I said though, smelting the copper is our first priority. For reference, that right there is spawn. This is the tower I want to build the copper house on. And I think I'll set up the furnaces maybe over here. And I want to use blast furnace. In the infamous words of almost every Minecraft YouTuber, I've done some off work camera. I, I just built a little bit of a staircase because that right there is where the zombie grinder is. That's kind of where we started. Oh, that's so good to see. I'm getting distracted though. I, I just built these staircases up here because it's a pain to get up this cliffside every single time with a water bucket. I also made this bridge. Not gonna lie, definitely the best bridge I've ever built. I think it's something about the logs that go across kind of hold up the fences because it's really hard to build a bridge when the fences don't really connect. So we get off the end of the bridge and then right up here is where I want to build the copper place. <laughs> but as you can see, I need to smelt all of the copper. And I don't use blast furnaces often, but 11? Now, it's nothing to write home about, but I do really like it. <gasps> no phantoms, I hate phantoms. Oh boy, this is gonna take a while, and I don't even have enough coal to smelt the first row. So, I'm gonna use a feature that I feel like nobody ever really uses. Now, I always forget, does it use up the lava bucket? Oh, okay, it does. Oh, and look at it all coming in. Oh, it does save the bucket. Hey, and there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of copper.
Oh, you have no idea how good this feels, guys. So much copper. Tiny bit of nostalgia, but there used to be this mod called, like, the Yog Box. And in that mod, you would, like, trade with villagers, and one of the best trades was mud bricks. But what we had to do with mud bricks is you had to place them out in the sun and wait for them to dry. And this copper totally reminds me of it. So I kind of want to make a flat yard area for oxidizing all the copper. So I am pleased with this design, but I thought that was enough space. However, we still have many, many more copper blocks to go. Oh yeah, I'm also gonna need to repair this shovel if I'm gonna continue on this farm. Oh yeah. Rex Copper Oxide Project. Holy cow, guys. This is a lot bigger than I thought it would be, but it looks so epic. It's been about a day and a half, and I'm curious. How much of our copper has... Oh. Oh, yeah, that is not a lot of copper that is turned. Uh, good news, though, is that we do have time to make an entire bee farm. That way we can wax all the copper and keep it in its shiny condition or in its super degraded condition. Whatever we want. Does mean I need to find some bees, though. Uh, so this should be a good exercise. I haven't actually made a thing before, but I assume it's just... Yeah, okay. Come on, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. So, let's make ourselves a bee farm, shall we? Tiny bee. <laughs> This is so epic. I'll give it to you. It's not the most advanced system, but it sure does work. How are we doing with the oxidization? Not super hot. I was really hoping some of it would be the second stage. Finally, guys. Finally, we can start construction on the copper house. While I've been waiting for all of the copper to oxidize, I have put in some infrastructure. As you can see, a couple little staircases, dug a little hole. This is the foundations of the house. We're going with an L shape, and I think this is probably the best choice for a floor. I'm pretty sure this stuff doesn't oxidize. If it does, I'm going to be kind of sick. <laughs> and I'm hoping we have enough, but it, it looks like we're not gonna have enough. I have tons of copper. I just forgot to save the raw copper. Oh, I'm gonna need to go mining again. Three stacks of copper later. I, I hope that's the last I need to go mining for copper. And I think these are actually a pretty good floor option. Ah, uh, okay, I'll, I'll get these later. And while I'm building this house, I'm gonna need to keep up with this copper farm over here because copper is actually a lot more complicated than I thought. I went on the wiki, I read the formulas for how copper oxidizes. And according to my knowledge, this is what you gotta do for optimal copper oxidization. You gotta either A, keep every block of copper four blocks away from each other, which uh, in our case is definitely not gonna work. But option two, you must group up all similar types of copper. Say we had a weathered copper block in the middle of a whole bunch of pristine copper blocks. This block of copper would not oxidize because there are lower stages of copper within a four block radius. So when we group them up, there are no longer lower stages of copper within a four block radius until one converts. And then we just take it and we move it to the other pile next to types of its own. So if you're ever having trouble oxidizing copper in your world, that's the basic method. Disclaimer though, it does take a very, very long time. We have one block of fully oxidized copper. It's literally been like three days and these are now going to be the pillars for the house. We're just going with a pretty basic design, but it's copper, and I feel like that makes it special. And I know what some of you are saying. Hey, Wreck, you're not gonna be able to have any windows. You can't use glass. Well, I say to you, lightning rods. And they actually kind of look like windows. Look at that. Now you might be saying, Wreck, you can't make any doors. Well, I say to you, <laughs> we're, we're gonna do the same thing for the door. Which actually doesn't look too bad, but we are gonna have to hook up some weird piston magic to get it to open. Not sure if I have the capabilities to pull that off, but if any of you are like redstone pros, send me like, I don't know, DM me on Twitter with a design or, or get me on Discord. Like if you had to move this block out of the way, then retract this, then move that block out of the way. Anyways, until we do get that piston door, I'm just gonna leave it like that. We're also gonna use quite a bit of stairs for like a siding kind of look. And then the trim of the roof is gonna be the hard part because that's what I wanna use the green stuff. For. However, the bulk of the roof should be fairly easy because I wanna use these slightly weathered blocks. Problem guys, I may, may have overestimated, I guess underestimated how much copper I need. I thought like three and a half stacks of blocks was gonna be good enough, but I don't think so. I'm gonna keep pushing on though. We'll, we'll see how far we can get.
Dude, I totally forgot the ones we placed at the beginning of the episode. Oh, and they're all oxidized. Okay, I, I guess they're weathered. Hey, that's looking pretty cool. <laughs> oh, we, we also got to put in some stairs. I, I was going to forget those. Now, a very important part of this is waxing the copper. I've never waxed it before, but I, I assume we just right click. Yeah, but again, oh, that is so cool. Oh no, see, this is exactly what I mean. We, we gotta replace it now because it got oxidized. I'm getting to that point of the build where I'm not sure where it should go. Maybe I do something like this? Uh, it's, it's getting there. Now I'm in a bit of a dilemma. I was originally planning to have this trim be oxidized, but the more that I look at it, the more cool it kind of looks. I'm not sure if that looks better. Here, we'll do a test. Keep watching, watching, watching. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, this definitely looks more like copper, right? But the other one just adds another color that looks so good. So I, I need your opinion on something. I'm debating whether I should have the trim be oxidized or not. Well, I want to tell you that this build palette is exceptional. Thank you. It's a strong choice. <laughs> yeah, Many copper people might with not copper think, with copper with copper. I think uh, the more oxidation in different areas, the better. I should say keep the trim in there, so you have some color changes. But yeah, I love the look of the oxidized trim. After days of mining, waiting, and building, this is the final product. Oh my goodness, guys. I have so many things to show you, starting with the axe. The axe can take away the oxidization. This is so cool. Secondly, my methods of the copper oxidization are actually working. I don't know if you could tell, but I got all of this oxidized copper today. So if you really want this stuff to move fast, do not clump it up. Space it out as much as you can. Oh, and now that I'm looking at this thing, yeah, I, I have done a lot of work. We have so many more lanterns. And complementing this area, I have revamped everything. We've added this little bridgey thing over here. I, I love adding the pathways. It just connects the base together. We even have this little waterfall with two axolotls. Oh, watch this. Ready, ready, ready? We come through here. <laughs> Straight into our storage room. It's actually so useful. And telescopes. Maybe this could be like the theme of the place because we, we have so many telescopes that we never did anything And with. this down here probably doesn't look too much different to you. But if you take a look at this wall before and after, I added all of this stone. And just that tiny little detail makes it still feel like a natural Minecraft generation, but it makes it look so much cooler. It's kind of like the traditional old style Minecraft, which is like lots of oak, lots of stone, and then of course our, our copper hat. Also added an upstairs with a chimney on top of it. I don't know if I've showed that off. I think that's a kind of cool way and to do it. And coolly enough, the last clip that I'm recording, we actually have the last two bits of oxidized copper. Thanks for watching, guys.